Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Hike. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Women's Tempest Dirty Rucksack. This rucksack is ideal for everyday hiking, coastal walking, to even a bit of scrambling. Anyway, let's take a closer look at its features. Cool, so the first thing you'll notice with the Tempest it is a standard or very traditional hiking design. So I'm gonna start from the top here and we're gonna kind of go through the features on the front. So on the top here, you've got a really nice ease glide zip. That leads to a nice wide kind of top pocket on there. And so this thing's absolutely massive. You'll be able to get your waterproofs in there, pretty much anything. I mean, the volume, as I say, is pretty high on there. And that's a really cool feature on such a, you know, a low key bag. And as I say, the zip itself is all uh, covered as well, you know, to prevent any water from going on in there. If I just unclip the top. What you notice on the inside here, you do have a discreet zip pocket as well. Just open that up. That is nice and spacious. That's going to be ideal for your wallet, your keys, your mobile phone. So it's nice and discreet. People aren't going to really know that it's there. As I say, it's certainly not going to be from, from the outside anyway. Zip it all up and whatever you pop in there will stay safe and secure. Now the main entrance to the bag itself, you've got your compression strap on the front there. So that's just going to pull everything in once you've obviously done the bag, you know, filled the bag up. And let me just get the toggle system out like that. Let's just pull that, and then that leads to the entry point of the back. Entry point is really easy to get into. Just hold that tab there, give it a pull. Hey presto. Now I'm not going to show you in great detail on the inside of the bag, because to be honest with you, there's not actually much in there. But the bag itself, the main hole, is pretty much, yeah, it's just one big open space that you get with most tra traditional rucksacks. Doesn't mean you can organize the pack to suit all your needs. And let's just push that up, and then let me just clip let me just clip that back up to it, so that holds it. So the front itself, you've got your traditional kind of, at the, at the top here, your traditional bungee cords. They're going to be ideal for your walking poles to your ice axes. They are completely adjustable as well, so you can adjust it to suit all your needs. And obviously they tie in nicely with the bottom loops, which are located on the bottom there. So the, the base of your ice axe or the base of your, um, you know, your walking pole can sit in there freely. Storage wise, you've got a nice mesh pocket on the front. If I just clip that, and that is, as I say, nice and elasticated as well. So you get tons of room in there. And as I say, whatever you pop in there will stay safe and secure. All you need to do, clip it into place there. And as I say, put on the cord there. And that's just going to hold everything in on the bottom there. And then you have your two traditional side pockets as well. Anyway, let's take a look at the back. So what you'll notice, this is hydration compatible due to the H2O sign that's located on the top there. But you're probably asking me, well, where does it go? Well, it's an actual external pocket. So this slips between the padding of the rucksack as well as the general kind of, you know, general storage of the pack. So it just slips into the back there. That means it's easy to get in and out. And obviously you can maintain it as well. So nice and wide and spacious in there as well. And that's not going to affect the padding and that's not going to, shouldn't affect too much of the room on the inside of the main pack. The only thing you need to do is make sure the top part of your bladder is hooked through here to keep it upright. So then that stops the bag itself, stops the bladder from sagging to the bottom part of the bag. So yeah, just make sure you clip that up. The bag itself uses, uh, uh, the bag, oh no. I was pushing myself a bit too much. Never mind. Shall we do that? Spin it round. I can start from the back. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll be doing it. Fade. Cool. So the hydration system itself works is the hydration system is in the back part of the bag itself due to the H2O label that's on the front there. So it actually fits between the um, the padding of the back as well as the main storage of the bag, sits in there comfortably. The external frame or the external pocket does mean you can get the bladder itself in and out nice and easily. The only thing you need to do at the top part is make sure that this is clipped in. So this is gonna stop the bladder itself from sagging to the bottom, and then that means it's just gonna give you a nice even flow in the bladder. So the, the actual bag itself uses Osprey's air space uh, technology on there. So if you can have a look there, you can see the general white trail that goes through the pile of the rucksack, or the backing of the rucksack. Uh, Justine is going to enable nice cool air throughout the back. It's going to stop your back from sweating. What's also nice is the padding that they've got here is riveted. So that does two things. One, that molds with you, so you're going to get a really comfortable fit on the back. But then also too, that enables hot air and cool air to obviously escape and to come in, keeping you nice and cool. 
The straps themselves have all this mesh paneling as well. You can probably see the holes there. So that's going to keep be nice and cool on your shoulders and it should stop you getting sweaty shoulders. You've got a traditional chest strap on there, clips into place just like that. You've got your emergency bushel, and then just to adjust it as well, you've got your traditional kind of compression strap on there. And you can adjust it by sliding that up and down nice and easily. You've got a pocket on the strap as well. That's going to be ideal for your MP3 player or your mobile phone. So it's got that elastication as well. So it's nice and tight, but it's going to hold everything in there nicely and securely. And then lastly on the strap as well, you've got this quick release system. Now this is designed for walking poles. So if you're doing a bit of a walking or anything like that, rather than having to play around with walking poles on the, you know, the back part of your rucksack, you can have this hanging down here, but obviously kept, kept in place due to this, you know, due to this clip system on this tool system on here. But that does mean when you need, you know, your walking pole, unclip it, hey presto, you've got it a lot quicker, quite literally a matter of seconds. Lastly, I want to show you the hip straps themselves. You can see they're pre-molded, so they're going to be nice and comfortable against your hip or above your hip, and it's going to, you know, just generally be fresh out of the box, nice and comfortable. The pockets are nice and wide. It's got a wide entry. As you can see, the mesh paneling on the back there, so that's helping with the ventilation. Uh, but the mesh, kind of elasticated mesh on the front there, is nice and stretchy. So even if you put like an awkward thing in there, say awkward shaped thing, like a GoPro or something like that, you know, it's going to sit in that pocket nice and comfortably. And that pocket there is exactly the same. It's got exactly the same system, exactly the same zip, and exactly the same space. And lastly, your belt buckle system clips into place, and then all you need to do is pull either side to adjust. And as I say, just playing around with that means as I say, it's a really nice and simple and easy system. So there we have it guys, that's the Tempest 30 from Osprey. If you like any more information on it, just head over to our website, simplyhike.pro.uk. And for all latest, all the latest news and info in the hiking world, just head over to our social channels.